Thanks for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Since it is that season at the moment, we're going to do a pumpkin beer, which we had done a pumpkin beer before, but I don't, I don't want to do too many because if you listen to the podcast, typically you know that I don't like pumpkin beers. It's not my thing. The spices, the actual pumpkin flavor when it's kind of subdued is fine with me, like the fruit of the pumpkin or like a squash or something, but typically not big on the pumpkin stuff, a lot of spices and stuff. Um, but the one I have today is one I've never had before, and I've been told that it's one that even if you don't like pumpkin beers, you should be at least happy, somewhat happy with it. Um, this is uh, compliments of Taylor Strunk out of Florida. Thank you, Taylor. Um, and I obtained this for my wife specifically, so she will be drinking this immediately after this episode. She's been very excited because this is one of the highest acclaimed uh, pumpkin beers along with Pumpkin by Southern Tier which is out of New York. So Cigar City, if anyone doesn't know, is out of Tampa, Florida. The Good Gourd is their um, pumpkin ale with spices added to it. There is actually no ABV on this, so I can't tell you that. I'm sure it's relatively low. Let's go ahead and try. I'm trying to see what this is all about. All right, coloration is probably about what I assumed for this. It's like a um, dark brownish orange to it. Uh, got a decent head when it poured. Um, I can't really see through it. Uh, it's a little bit of like a haze to it, but hey, it's about what I assumed. Smells, smells gourdy, good gourd. No, it does smell like an actual pumpkin note to it with some spices, but the spices aren't like crazy like you get with a lot of uh, pumpkin beers. Well, ones that have spices. These are more kind of like a subdued ordeal. This has like some nutmeg, kind of smells like maybe some like clove, cinnamon, stuff like that. But like I said, it's more of like a subdued thing. It's not like smacking me in the nose and making me kind of like, oh, I'm not going to like it because there's so many spices. It's more in line and in tune with uh, the actual pumpkin scent that I'm getting. So I'm hoping that when I actually try it, it's going to be that kind of flavor where, you know, the spices aren't overpowering it and it's pretty harmonious with the actual pumpkin. Okay. That's actually... Pretty similar to the nose. Uh, it's kind of hitting me with a little bit of a sweetness up front. Uh, a little bit of like a roasty maltiness um, to go along with those kind of spice flavors. I'm getting like the cinnamon, nutmeg, stuff like that. Um, I get a little bit of the pumpkin as well. It's not overly aggressive with flavors, which is something that's good for me as far as, you know, a pumpkin style beer goes. There are a few things about it that remind me a little bit of Southern Tears Pumpkin, but kind of taken down a few notches because that, that does have very strong flavors. Um, I almost feel like I do get a little bit of kind of a graham crackeriness out of this. It makes me feel like fireside at a campfire. Um, roasted marshmallows to have with this I think would go really well. Uh, having s'mores, you know, stuff like that. But um, I think it's really well balanced um, for the type of of beer that it is supposed to be. It probably is one of the best balanced uh, pumpkin beers that I've ever had. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely get like some pumpkin flavor and it's got a bit of a sweetness on the end, which is coming off a tad bit like candied, like maybe it's kind of like a sweet candied pumpkin uh, note to it, which is probably coming a little bit from like the cinnamon. Well, let me go ahead and see if there's any sort of notes on this. Um, it says, high gravity gob of gourdy goodness incorporates pumpkin in the mashing process. So they actually use pumpkin. And then gets wicked with the spices including Ceylon cinnamon, Jamaican allspice, Zanzibar cloves, and nutmeg. So there you have it. Good gourd. Um, it's not my favorite beer, I won't say, but I think as far as, you know, pumpkin beers go, I think it's pretty solid. And I do think it's one that I could drink. And like I said... You know, good for when you're outside around a fire and definitely would be really good with s'mores. Or if you're not big into s'mores, if you just like, you know, just roasted marshmallows, period. Uh, have some of those with this. 
Anyway, thank you so much for joining me for this one, and um, go ahead and find yourself an awesome beer to have.